Hello and welcome to this episode of Love Lytics Loves Data. We are going to be talking about year-to-date change and how to best visualize it inside Tableau. My name is Michael Werner and I'm a Tableau trainer here at Love Lytics. Let's get started. So I've brought in a data set containing information from a bike share system in Seattle, Washington. We have information here such as the dates of rides, length of rides, gender of riders, and a unique identifier for each trip taken in our trip ID field. In analyzing our data, let's start with a question. I would like to know how the number of rides each day in 2016 compared to the same day in 2015, one year previous. Did we see more rides, less rides, and just how drastic was our change? Now, let's use Tableau to answer our question. We can start with our start time field, which will serve as our date of trip, and drag it to columns. Tableau is going to default to showing our date as a year in discrete form, and we can take this to a day level by finding the plus signs to the left of our year of start time and expanding out this field. We will see lower levels of granularity in quarter, month, and eventually day as we expand. We can remove quarter from columns and leave us with a year, month, day layout. Now we can bring in a field to tell us how many trips were taken on each day. Our trip ID field contains a unique identifier which can be used to total up each day. If we drag this trip ID field onto rows and tell Tableau to add all members, then it will list each and every trip in the system in one long row, about 21,000 of them. If we right click on this trip ID field on rows, we can use this as a measure to count up the number of unique trip IDs found on each day using the count distinct aggregation. Now on our marks card, Tableau defaults to an automatic line, so if we select our drop down, then we can change to a bar and start to visualize these comparisons a little more clearly. So our visualization is coming together and it's time for the magic. To answer our original question and find this year over year change, we can select our count distinct of trip ID, find quick table calculations at the bottom, and select year over year growth in the secondary pop out menu. This changes our entire visualization right away, and if we hover over any of our bars, we can see that a percent difference calculation has been done on each day. Inside of our table calculation menu, Tableau tells us that it is calculating by the year, month, and day of start time by looking at the previous. Adding or removing any of these fields would change the way this calculation was done in our visualization. Next, we see that Tableau has left us with 366 nulls to address. One null for each day that Tableau does not have anything to calculate on. 365 of these nulls are because we have no 2014 data. Each 2015 day cannot be compared to anything previously. And our 366 null? Any guesses? It's going to be the ever elusive February 29th, Leap Day. That day does not exist in 2015, so the 2016 day has nothing to calculate off of. So let's address these nulls by showing our data at the default position, and Tableau will create an imaginary bar for each null which we can use as a placeholder. Next, let's add labels to each bar by copying our table calculated count of trip ID onto label, removing the table calculation, and leaving us with the original count. We can also bring a copy of our table calculated count of trip ID onto color on our marks card to better highlight large increases and decreases. Before we complete our viz and add a few formatting touches, let's do a little analysis. It looks like one day in particular, March 15th, 2016, had a massive increase from the same day one year ago, 250 total trips according to our label. If we take a look at the same day one year ago, we find that only 34 trips are taken. This could be a data entry error, or it could be that there were other factors at play. I did a little digging and found this. Good evening, everyone. Winds top 40 miles an hour in parts of Puget Sound this evening. It caps a day of heavy record rainfall and much needed mountain snow. Right now. Well, it looks like that mystery is solved. Let's fix up a couple things in our viz and get it ready for our end user to enjoy. First, we can choose to hide all of 2015 
since it brings no visual appeal and we are focusing on the present. Second, we can open up our tooltip and make this read more like a sentence to effectively get the information across to our end user. So our bar chart is built and we found a simple way to calculate a year over year change broken down by each day that's full of visual appeal. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Lovelytics Loves Data. Please leave a comment down below about how you're planning on using this calculation in your visualizations and be sure to reach out to Lovelytics for all of your data needs.